the Bible clearly reveals to us that there will be a man who will take control of all things and will govern the world like no other leader in the history of humanity has been able to do. This man will be charismatic and will have a speech that will conquer everyone. His power of persuasion will convince the inhabitants of the earth that in his hands all the problems of the nations will finally be solved. The truth is that the world has never seen anyone as powerful, influential, and intelligent as this man. And this will happen for one reason only, because he will have in his hands the power that comes directly from the enemy of our souls, Satan. See what the Bible says about him in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. The coming of the lawless one will be in accordance with how Satan works. He will use all sorts of displays of power through signs and wonders that serve the lie and all the ways that wickedness deceives those who are perishing. They perish because they refuse to love the truth and so be saved. And who is this man, I ask you? He is the Antichrist, the evil being who will rise up against God and exalt himself above all things, even to the point of sitting in the sanctuary of the Lord and claiming that he himself is God. And he will do all of this because he desires the same thing that the devil has always desired, to occupy the place of the Most High God in Isaiah chapter 14. It is written like this, how you have fallen from heaven. Morning star, son of the dawn, you have been cast down to the earth, you who once laid low the nations. You said in your heart, I will ascend to the heavens. I will raise my throne above the stars of God. I will sit enthroned on the Mount of Assembly, on the utmost heights of Mount Zion. I will ascend above the tops of the clouds. I will make myself like the Most High. And the question that remains is when will the Antichrist come to earth? Has he already been born? Is he just waiting for the fulfillment of biblical prophecies to be announced as the one who will save the world? It is exactly on this issue that we will deal with in this video. I will prove to you that the Antichrist is already here, acting without any of us realizing it. Okay. But before we begin, I really want you to subscribe to my channel. Just click on the subscribe button below the video, and the bell icon will appear next to it. It's very important that you activate the bell to receive all notifications whenever I post a new video. Okay, so let's get to it. The New Testament tells us that Satan tempted Jesus three times while the Lord was fasting in the desert, preparing to take on his ministry here on earth. In the first moment he came to Christ and wanted to convince him to kill his hunger by turning stones into bread. Then he took Jesus to a very high place from where they could see the whole earth then Satan proposed to give him power over everything, if Jesus kneeled before him. And finally the enemy led Christ to the top of the temple and told him to jump so that God's angels would rescue him and save his life before the eyes of all the Jews who did not believe that he was the Messiah sent by God, brothers and sisters. Notice one thing in these three situations, in all of them. Satan offered good things to Jesus, but in return, he wanted worship and disobedience to the Word of God. And that is exactly the same thing he does with all of us today. The devil offers us everything that is good and pleasing to our carnal eyes, but in return, he wants us to stop praying and seeking God. And that is exactly what the Antichrist will want the world to do after he is announced to all the inhabitants of the earth. Still, in the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, we see that in the last days there will be a great apostasy. That is the abandonment of the faith of many who once gave their lives to Jesus. They will serve the devil even without realizing it, giving the Antichrist full control over their lives. See what the word of the Lord says concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our being gathered to him. We ask you, brothers and sisters, not to become easily unsettled or alarmed by the teaching allegedly from us, whether by a prophecy or by word of mouth or by letter, asserting that the day of the Lord has already come. Don't let anyone deceive you in any way, for that day will not come until the rebellion occurs and the man of lawlessness is revealed, the man doomed to destruction. He will oppose and will exalt himself over everything that is called God or is worshipped, so that he sets himself up in God's temple, proclaiming himself to be God. Note that this passage says that the Antichrist will sit in the sanctuary of God and proclaim himself as God. 
because of this, Bible scholars, especially those who study the end times, believe that this refers to the third temple that will be built in Jerusalem, exactly in the same place where the Temple of Solomon was built. And this construction will really exist. Some even say that the governments of Israel and Palestine have already begun negotiations for the future construction of this temple, which would house the religious people of both peoples and, according to prophecies, would be taken over by the Antichrist. However, my brothers and sisters, I want to draw your attention to something, and for this I want to read with you a passage that is in 1 Corinthians chapter 6. It says, Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit? Who is in you whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your bodies, brothers and sisters. We are the sanctuary of God here on earth. The Antichrist has not yet been announced, but he is already sitting on the hearts of human beings, controlling them and proclaiming himself as the God of their lives. Many people still see the coming of the Antichrist as a future thing, but no, he is already among us. Just look at the world around us, at the things that have been happening. To realize that he is already dominating the human heart and secretly installing his throne in it. And it is not me who is saying this, but the Bible itself. Pay attention to what the Apostle John wrote. This is how you can recognize the Spirit of God. Every spirit that acknowledges that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God, but every spirit that does not acknowledge Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard is coming and even now is already in the world. So the advice I give you is not to wait for the construction of the third temple in Jerusalem or for the announcement of the peace agreement between the major nations and religions. Instead, watch out so that you do not give space to the enemy in your life. Do not allow the spirit of the Antichrist to dominate your heart and make it his temple. Rather, you need to give your heart and life to Jesus Christ, because only he has the power to destroy the enemy. Amen? Let Christ rule your life, your words, your actions, and don't be one of those who have strayed from faith and returned to a life of sin as if Christ would never return. Most of the signs preceding the return of Jesus have already been fulfilled. Nevertheless, many doubt and say that these things have always existed and past generations also thought that Jesus would return in their time. But brothers and sisters, we must be very careful because now the signs are very clear and we cannot be caught off guard living in disobedience to the word of God. So if you have not yet repented of your sins and received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, know that he loves you very much and is waiting for your decision. See this warning from the Lord for each of us. Above all, you must understand that in the last days, scoffers will come scoffing and following their own evil desires. They will say, where is this coming? He promised. Ever since our ancestors died, everything goes on as it has since the beginning of creation. But they deliberately forget that long ago, by God's word, the heavens came into being, and the earth was formed out of water, and by water, by these waters. Also, the world of that time was deluged and destroyed by the same word. The present heavens and earth are reserved for fire being kept for the day of judgment and destruction of the ungodly. But do not forget this one thing, dear friends, with the Lord. A day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like a day. The Lord is not slow in keeping His promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, He is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief. The heavens will disappear with a roar. The elements will be destroyed by fire and the earth and everything done in it will be laid bare, since everything will be destroyed in this way. What kind of people ought you to be? You are to live holy and godly lives, as you look forward to the day of God and speed its coming. Amen. If you like this message, I ask you to share it on WhatsApp, on Facebook. Let's spread the word of God. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel here. May God bless you. I'll see you in the next video.